it's Adobe Animate and it's transformed a little bit more in order to be suitable for frame by frame animation, but originally it was not created for that. But it can be used as well, the actual versions. Okay. So now we know the technical details. Yeah, we know how uh, technically the frame by frame animation is created. Uh, in an analog way or in a digital way, but as I mentioned, the principles are the same. There are uh, some references which are available for, for uh, students or people who want to start to work in frame-by-frame uh, -frame animation. And this image is, uh, I, I, I took this image from a book which is created by Richard Williams. You can see here at the bottom of the screen and the title of the um, book is The Animator Survival Kit. Yeah. And um, Richard Williams was an animator at the Disney company. He died a few years ago. He was very old already at that time. He worked a lot in animation. He was a brilliant animator and he wrote this book for uh, those people who want to learn the frame by frame animation. And what you can see here is the very, very basic exercise which all the animation students used to do when they start. And this is a bouncing ball. Here you can see the different frames uh, which are, which should be created in order to have a smooth image. And you can observe some interesting phenomena yeah, that when the ball touch the ground, yeah, it's deforming. This is an important rule for animation, yeah? This squeeze and squash, yeah? So um, the objects can be distorted in order to suggest the movement. And of course, as the ball jumps, uh, in, the first, uh, in the first movement, it jumps higher and that not so high and not so high and in the end this jumping will stop yeah because this is physics yeah if you do this in the real life the ball will behave in this way so you will see that the rules of um, the animation are very very simple and we can see them in our everyday life yeah but what is important for a person who is doing animation is to be very uh, careful to observe everything and all the movements uh, which are happening around uh, him uh, in the real life because animation uh, is inspired by the real life. Okay, and I will show it to you now how this looks when it's animated. This will be a student work yeah i hope uh it's quite smooth the video i hope that you can follow it yeah so you can see that the ball is jumping and yeah. is respecting uh, those frames what we have seen previously of course you can see that it's a little bit exaggerated uh, but in animation we use to exaggerate a little bit yeah Another important movement which all the animators should do is the walking cycle. When you create a movie or you work in a movie, it will be sure a person, a character who will walk uh, in the movie, who will enter, who will quit. So it's very important to know uh, the principles of uh, the walking cycle, of a human walking. This image is again from Richard Williams' book, and here you can see the main poses for a walking cycle and the main principle. You can see here that the head of the character is moving up and down when it's walking. This happening in the real life as well. Yeah? So if you observe each other's walking or even yourself, uh, you will see that. Um, uh, this is uh, the same in the reality.
probably here it is a little bit exaggerated uh, as well because this is animation. Here you can see the main positions of the legs and of the hands. So this is a basic reference for a walking cycle. Of course, these drawings are not enough. These are just the main poses, the main keyframes, uh, in order to obtain a smooth movement, further drawings are necessary to be added between uh, these keyframes. Um, okay, and I will show you again an animated version. This is a student work as well. And you can see that this is a little bit um, a different character. It's not that very simple one, but the principles and the basics of the walking are the same. This is the walking uh, when the character is not advancing. Yeah, uh, we are following it with the camera. So that's why it's not leaving the screen. Yeah, uh, and if we imagine that there is a background, the background is rolling into the back, yeah, because we are following the character with the camera. I would like to mention that uh, if you look at uh, its hat, yeah, uh, it's animated as well, uh, because probably it's not a rigid object, and this can make uh, the movement more alive and more interesting and more realistic. Same uh, the head of the uh, character, as you can see, it's turning in the right and the left. Yeah, so this is uh, a small detail which makes uh, the uh, the animation, the walking, even more realistic and characteristic and and funny. Okay, and of course one more uh, classical reference is the running cycle, same image from Richard Williams. Um, you can see it's similar to the walking. Probably this up and down movement is more accentuated, yeah, because when we are running, we used to jump higher. The rhythm of the running is faster, yeah, we are running faster than as we walk. Uh, so probably uh, less in-betweens are necessary uh, to obtain the final running cycle. And of course, I will show it to you from this um, as well. Running video. Yeah, This character is running. It's quite fast. This is a simple character in this case. And this running is based on that reference what I have shown you previously. Okay. Um, I would like to show you some um, another uh, example because we have seen these references, yeah, but there are movements which are which does not have a reference, yeah. The walking then and the running, these are very frequently used movements, so you can find many references. But in a movie, there are many uh, actions which does not have a reference, yeah, because this is a very special action. And in these short examples, which I take took as well from Richard Williams, uh, he's showing here how this very simple movement is animated. So a person is going towards a blackboard or whiteboard or so towards a board and uh, it's bending down to take a piece of chalk from the ground and it's going to the uh, blackboard and is writing on it. These are the main poses. We call this layout posing. Yeah. So these are the most important poses of this character. These should be drawn first. With this, we are designing uh, the movement. Okay, the next step 
is to add the keyframes. You can see that uh, here are the original drawings, but some new drawings are added. But this is, these are not enough yet. You can see that there are quite many drawings, but uh, uh, this is not yet a smooth movement. So these are just the keyframes. You can see that a step is constituted just by two drawings, so that's not enough for sure. And in this image, which is very impressive, yeah, to see it like this, here you can see all the in-betweens. I didn't count it, um, I didn't count the drawings, but uh, I guess there should be around 100 drawings here. And this is a smooth movement, which is around, yeah, four or five seconds, yeah? So, um, this will be, these are all the in-betweens, and in the end, this will result a smooth movement. And now I will show to you, of course, the movement. Uh, this is, uh, sorry. yeah. Um, sorry for the quality of the video, but this is from an old DVD by the Richard Williams book, so it's not such a high quality, but I think that you can see it, yeah? So this is the final movement for the character. And for this very simple movement, so many drawings were necessary to be drawn. Okay. Um, I will show you some further videos from a uh, very short, uh, from our students' work, because we have seen before some very classical animation um, sequences, the, the walking, the running. We used to give some um, creative tasks as well, and one of these tasks is when they have to animate an object. Yeah, So they have to find an object and to make it somehow walking. The first example is a comp, yeah, as you can see it, and uh, this student uh, imagined that this is like a creature with many legs, and if it would walk, it, it would look like that, yeah. So I think that this is a very, very good and very creative solution. Another one, similar to this task is a boat with its skulls yeah and the skulls are functioning as legs and the boat is walking on those legs yeah okay and another uh interesting exercise which uh, we used to uh, give to the students and we used to work with it is the morphing and the morphing means when uh, a, an object or a character or whatever is transforming into an other image yeah i will show an example for that you can see that the fishes are turning into eyes and then into a rose and into a head of a girl. Yeah, so the morphing, it's again a technique, a method for frame by frame animation, which is available only in animation. Yeah, so you can't really do this in a live action movie. Of course, Many visual effects can be done in the live action movies as well, but the morphing is something specific to the frame by frame animation and it can be very, very uh, expressive. Yeah, so you can express very deep feelings with that. Okay, and now I will show you um, 
very briefly uh, how this TV Paint software looks like and how it looks, looks when we are creating a real scene in it. Uh, this scene is from that project that I was talking about it, that um, feature animation movie, that long animation movie, which production is now in progress. And um, uh, I, I will show a very short scene, a two, three second scene, long scene from it. This is the interface of the TV paint animation software. I will show it to you immediately in reality. Um, so you can see that this is the work area. Here are the tools. And here in this lower part, uh, this is a very important part. This is the timeline. And here you can see the frames yeah, where we have to create the drawings. Uh, before to start to animate, we need the characters. Uh, the movie is about uh, the life of an engineer uh, who was a real person here in Hungary. And uh, he had two daughters. And this scene, this very short scene, is with his daughters playing on a beach. Yeah? And in the meantime, the parents are taking a photo. Uh, of them. So this is the character design of one of the girls. Uh, you can see that this is a character sheet. We called it turnaround. Yeah? Turnaround means that we draw the characters from different angles because in the movie, probably we will see them from different angles. So we have to know how they look from front, from side, and from, back, from the back. And this is the other character sheet for the smaller daughter. Same turn around. And this is a background. This is the background design. So this is the beach. This is the scene, the background on a cloudy day. And the girls are playing here uh, in, in this part of the image. And now I will. Uh, open the TV paint animation. Yeah, so this is the software for real. <laughs> yes, and first uh, we have to uh, import the background. Yeah, so we import the background into the software and we will animate on this because probably there are some objects on the background which influence uh, the animation. Uh, I used to make the background a little bit at a lower transparency in order to see better. And this is the first character, yeah? The first girl. It's very sketchy, yeah, at this moment. Here, I'm sketching the layout I was sketching, yeah. And you see that the girl is climbing on this stone, yeah? And after that, it's jumping from it and it's running in the other direction. And the other girl, her sister, is coming from the other direction, is running towards her sister, yeah? Grabs her hand and they are playing together, yeah? So if I play this now, it's not a smooth animation, you see, because these are just the layout posing, yeah, the most important poses. It looks like this, yeah. If you don't see a, a smooth image, it's normal. It's not a smooth image yet. Yeah? Uh, after this sketchy version, um, it's the clean layout. You can see that now the characters uh, are, are cleaned up, yeah? the drawings are clear, but uh, still we just have the main poses. Yeah? After that, we go to the animating. Yeah? And 
first we have to add some more keyframes yeah you can see that here are already more drawings and you can see that this software has this like table function as well you remember the like table yeah we must see the previous and the next frames because we cannot draw um, in uh, the other way yeah so if we don't see the previous frame we are not able to draw uh, the actual frame so these orange and green drawings what you can see here this is the light table function these are the previous and the next keyframes yeah so these are this is not the smooth animation yet yeah these are just uh, the keyframes yeah so the even more detailed animation after this the full animation is made as as a sketch yeah so i will play it to you right now you will see that i hope you can see yeah that uh, the movements are smooth but the drawings are not clear yet but in this way we can adjust the timing do they move correctly do they move at the right speed uh, are the the motion uh, correctly are the motion normal yeah are they synchronized because we have here two characters yeah they touch each other so it's important to uh, to synchronize their movements yes and after this the final cleanup is following yeah so all those drawings are cleaned with uh, the final line yeah so this is the final animation but you see this is not the ready scene yet it's not colored yet yeah so the next step is to color it yeah so here here is the coloring yeah and here is the colored um, version the background is it's at full transparency because now the colored character are visible on it and you see that this is very close to the final uh, image you can observe that some footsteps are added because as they jump on the sand yeah they leave some some footsteps yeah. okay so this is the final animated sequence and still um, it's not ready here the scene but this is what can be done in the tv paint yeah when we have this ready so i will put away the tv paint uh, a final compositing and uh, um, effects adding will follow and I will show you the very final sequence, yeah, which looks like this. What you can see here is this is a frame from an old camera because, as I told you, uh, in the movie, the parents are taking a picture of the girl. So we can see through the lens of the camera. And please observe that um, if you can see right the video. Uh, that the water is moving yeah because the sea is moving this is created in the after effects software which is a compositing software yeah so this is the final uh, ready done image so you can see how many steps how many stages how many drawings and this sequence is less than three seconds long yeah so animation is a huge work but the result is can be brilliant